Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a DNS caching server and that's going to be on this NetServe virtual machine. So uh, basically we're going to be caching these and saving these uh, DNS queries and the, the host names and the resolving and all that stuff. We're going to be saving it on this DNS server uh, NetServe. So we will have a DNS server on this NetServe virtual machine and that's going to be working for the mail serve, the web serve, the other servers I have on this local network. Okay, we're not going to be doing uh, zone files yet, so we're not going to be resolving the host names on the local network. That will be for a future video. So think of this as a basic introduction to setting up a simple DNS server on your network. First thing we're going to do, we're going to install that package, and we're going to agree to it first. And I'm going to do it as a Cheroot environment, and what that is is that just makes it so it's kind of jailed inside its own uh, name D is going to be the daemon here and the directory and all that stuff. So it's going to be that's it's going to think that that is the root of the system. So it's not going to be able to get out of that uh, security measure. But you can just uh, install bind itself and do the same thing. So we have that done, and uh, it's really pretty simple after this. All we got to do is just let's make a couple changes in the name d.conf file. So notice that we installed with bind, that's the name of the program, but everything, uh, config files and daemons and things is name d. Okay, so a couple things we'll do here is we're going to go to listen on, and this is listening for DNS queries, so we're just going to say any. Okay, so that's uh, now anybody on the network is going to be able to reach this and resolve on this DNS server. And allow query, similar kind of thing. So I'm going to say any to that. And let's add a line here, and we're going to say forwarders. And we're going to add an outside DNS server. So if it's not in the cache, it's going to go out to this DNS server and resolve it that way. Okay and make sure you have your semicolons there and the next thing we're going to do is just for the sake of uh, speed for this video DNS sec validation we're just going to say no so uh, it's not going to worry about the security for uh, DNS sec it's not going to validate it all that kind of stuff so uh, putting it to no it'll make it a little bit faster putting it to yes it'll make you more secure so for the test environment here I'm just changing it to no and that's all we have to do on the uh, named.conf file. So let's save it. Okay, now let's go and uh, start up the service. So service name d start. All right, and let's make it persistent. So we're going to go check config level 3 name d on. And let's just double check. Check config list grep name d. And there we go. You see that level three is it's uh, it's on, all right. Uh, one other thing on the server is I do have a DHCP server uh, giving out IP addresses and other information to uh, say mail serve and web serve over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that file so that I'm uh, double checking and making sure that only the DNS server, which is 172.20. Let me just show you here. Okay, so the IP address for this NetServe machine is 172.20.02. All right, so we're going to make sure that that is in the D, uh, DHCP config file. All right, and you can see right here, option domain name servers 172.20.0.2. Okay, so that's good to go. And if it wasn't, uh, you just change that. Right. And we'll just go, well, we don't have to do that, but if you did make the change, okay, service DHCPD restart. We didn't need to do that because we didn't make any changes, but if you did, that's how you'd do it. Next thing we need to do is let's go into etsyresolve.conf, and this is the, uh, this is the name servers that the, uh, this machine is going to use to do their uh, DNS resolutions. So you see here, name server 172.20.0.2, that's 
the local host here okay you want to make sure that that address is pointing to your local machine uh, that's because otherwise like for example here if the just say I, I, I kill that uh, 172.20.0.2 I just say name D stop okay well after that if I did that in this case it would then go to the 208 67 222 and that's open DNS you can uh, Google that online but uh, that's an outside outside DNS server so uh, it would still work so this is a backup here but uh, for the DNS server the local DNS server the NetServe DNS server to be used you need to have it in the first position right there so just be aware of that okay and it is so we're good to go there All right. and after that let's just uh, do a couple tests on this machine and then we'll test on the other ones dig is a uh, is a DNS kind of name server lookup tool so we'll just go dig red hat.com and if you take a look at the server heading it says 172.20.0.2 that's the local DNS server okay so now let's just go to the mail serve and web serve turn them on and make sure that uh, that they have they're pointing to this uh, net serve as their DNS server okay so we'll give that a couple seconds and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get those those things double checked so let me just do a ping here and we'll just go to well actually let's do a uh, dig red hat dot com again okay keep in mind query time 324 milliseconds you see that now it goes down to 24 milliseconds why because it's cached it doesn't have to go outside uh, to get that information it has it on the local machine so that's why maybe you want a caching only DNS server on your network okay root and you don't want to be root when you're working on machines but this is a test environment for me so that's that's fine All right now let's just go up to the mail serve we'll go to that virtual machine and we're just going to oh, I have config okay we have our IP address there and we're going to let's just do a less or let's just cat etsy resolve no let's uh, let's go vi etsy resolve Okay, so you see it says generated by uh, SBIN DH client script. So the name server that you got there is the NetServe machine, and that was given out by the NetServe DHCP server. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you there. Let's do a dig google.com. Okay, server 172.20.0.2. That's the server that we're using to uh, resolve google.com. Now let's go to the web serve and let's just dig google.com. Okay, see that? 35 milliseconds compared to 503 milliseconds because it's cached. Okay, so you can see it does speed things up and it, uh, it's good to have and uh, it's a good introduction to uh, DNS. There's, it's a huge topic. So uh, like I said uh, you know, in previous videos, this is you're kind of in the shallow end of the pool. But after this, you can go a little deeper. So that's all I had for this video and uh, stay tuned for future videos.